Mm. And then I had my first girlfriend down St. Joe's. Well, a lovely woman. And she said, come over Friday night and meet my parents. Wasn't that lovely? And then when they're going to bed, we'll have a meal with the parents and then we'll have sex. I said, Christ. <laughs> I'd never done that before. <laughs> but she said, go to the pharmacist and get some condoms and we'll, when they're going to bed, we'll have a go. Christ. Well, I was only 31. <laughs> well, I got there and I met her at the door and she introduced me to her parents and then, well, when I went to the pharmacist, he said, now, you want some condoms? Have you done this before? I said, no. <laughs> he said, you know what to do? I said, no. <laughs> well, he said, the shop is empty. He said, I'll give you half an hour and tell you what you should be doing. Well, he was very good. <laughs> he told me all about the bits. Well, he was very helpful. Now, he said, you want some condoms? Do you want a packet of three, a packet of ten, or a family size? Oh, I said, I'll have a family size. I'm going to do a lot of shagging. <laughs> I'm over to go semi-professional. <laughs> well, I got to the door, and she met me at the door, the girlfriend, introduced me to her parents, then we sat down for dinner. I said, well, I, I better say grace. Well, I said grace, and then I went on praying. <laughs> Half an hour, I still prayed. And the girlfriend said, I didn't realize you was that religious. And I said, I didn't realize your father was a pharmacist. 